Welcome back to Push-Ups for PTSD and Day 1231. First off, I'd like to thank you for joining us on our fight to spread awareness about PTSD and mental health. As always, the motivational quotes will be at the end. Please stick around for the two-ish minutes to help spread awareness. Good sleeping habits are something that can help you if you suffer from PTSD and have a hard time falling asleep or staying asleep. Here's some practices you can use to improve your sleep. First, practice a relaxing bedtime ritual. A relaxing routine activity right before bedtime conducted away from bright lights helps separate your sleep time from activities that can cause excitement, stress, or anxiety, which can make it more difficult to fall asleep, get sound and deep sleep, or remain asleep. Try to avoid naps during the day. These can make it more difficult to fall asleep at a scheduled time. Exercise daily. Vigorous exercise is best, but even light exercise is better than no activity. Exercise at any time of day, but not at the expense of your sleep. Evaluate your room. Focus on conditions that help your sleep. Research suggests your bedroom should be cool between 60 and 67 degrees Fahrenheit and free from noises that can disturb your sleep. Avoid most lights. Check your room for noises or other distractions. Consider using blackout curtains, eye shades, earplugs, white noise machines, humidifiers, fans, or other devices. Personally, I enjoy listening to classical music as I'm trying to fall asleep. I find it soothing and helps distract my mind from other sources of excitement. And the final tip of the day is sleep on a comfortable mattress and pillows. Most mattresses only last about 9 or 10 years, and having comfortable pillows is obviously something that will help. And then try to eliminate allergens and objects that may cause you to slip and fall in the middle of the night. There are 5 more points I'd like to mention, but those will be in tomorrow's video. There are numbers and links in the description below for services around the world. Now on to the daily quotes. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Alan Kay. If you cannot do great things, do small things in great ways. Napoleon Hill. Take care. Thank you for surviving.